Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where we have no cued research. <laughs> We're still at the very tail end of that music night from last episode. I was going to advance it into the next morning and thought, nah, let's just let this finish. It's fine. We, uh, I see we have a malfunction battery to deal with, but right now we've got some, some pretty, pretty, uh, cool dance moves to work on. Who is this? That is Simon. He's 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 got he's got rhythm. <laughs> Let's see. I need to click somewhere out there to get rid of that box. There we go. Anyway, we'll just let them finish their thing. It's 11 o'clock at night. We're gonna wrap this up here in a little bit. Yep, there they go. Bunch of plus 20s and plus another 18 for having played music for the three or four that managed to find one. But uh, if I wanted to get an instrument for everybody, I'd have to double the size of the living room. Take up such a big footprint for each one. Anyways, Edmund dove into constructing... Oh, no, he just grabbed concrete. He's going to go over there and do it. He's not making it. Okay, that's a Simon job to make it. And I think we've got a bad ceiling lamp there. And, yeah, we need to get this guy going. He needs metal alloy. Metal alloy. Let's turn all these back on so we know what's going on. We have none. Uh, inside here is concrete, right? That is alloy. We're working on that one. <clears throat> now we do have some in here. No, we don't. That's zero. So this is being made. And that is it. So ore. Uh, this guy, right? We do have ore. So we either need to make alloy or we need to make lots of concrete. Concrete, we have quite a bit already. Actually, it doesn't say we have a deficit of anything. Did we... Did I lose that tab? Because I know we're short 7 alloy. Huh. It doesn't say it's been delivered, right? No, 0 of 7. Normally there's a little uh, warning up here. Anyway. Well, a warning like that one. Everybody's asleep. Edmund's going to sleep. We'll let them do their thing through the night. Look at that. Laid out all of that concrete. So we can get the landing pad built on that soon. Uh, science? Yeah, the landing spot can sit right over in here. Now wait for the concrete pad to get built first. Now, I have been recording... I keep wanting to call it Falling Skies. Forever Skies. Falling Skies was a TV series that I really liked. But... Forever Skies is something that I had backed in Kickstarter. And uh, when it came out, I wasn't going to miss the opportunity to uh, get a bunch of episodes out because I was able to get it before it hit Steam. So that's what I have been doing lately, in case you didn't catch any of those. So I'm trying to remember what happened last episode. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Besides the uh, music night... I think it was last episode we had our second flybug attack. Which is not what I wanted. I wanted some big old beast to come run through this gauntlet and prove to me that it works. Maybe next time we get lucky enough to be, you know, ha have the poops knocked out of us so we can see <laughs> if our defenses work. <laughs> anyway, back to speed one. Let's let these guys get some breakfast. Actually, you're in great shape. Where are you at? I want to get some mining going on. You're repairing a sailing lamp by grabbing that. Well, you're also a very good miner because of your... Let's see... Because of your physical. Should say in there, yeah, mining. You're a seven. So, let's send you long distance over here. In fact, let's have you just start immediately. Um, all of them? Let's see what you can do. You're going to spend most of your day just doing the, the walk, unfortunately. Any more? Right there. All right, Edmund, you get those. Carter, when you get up, I'll have you catch all the stragglers that are left. Get them all mined. Simon can then maybe make the run to go and get them. In fact, Simon is going to do his, his local transporting. And when he's done, he should dive into delivering or something like that. Whichever one means long distance haul. Go get all the stuff. 
Simon is transporting. Yeah, so he's just going to fill up all the little stuff in a bigger and bigger radius until he's off grabbing the, uh, let me zoom out a little bit, the rest of the supplies over here. Yep, still got them over here. So I need him to go get those before Kana decides to get some to make another vest or something. Kana's sleeping though, so no worry about that. Um, where are we with Kana? Is she sewing still or is she electronics? She's really good at both. Um, activities, Kana. You are tailoring still. And we'll let you satisfy all of that. In fact, did, let me think about that. Let's go through people's suits. Do we have vests on everybody yet? We need one only. And that is Edmund, and he's not here right now. We have one right there. So we don't need her making any more of those. What is she working on right now? Taylor Bench, and she's working on a shirt. Okay. So those vests, what would that be? Carbon vest. No more of those. Now, how are we on pants? Is that the one we've already satisfied? No, you need one. Just the one right now, and we have that. So, carbon... What were they called? They weren't called pants, but they're not here anymore. All we have are boots and helms. And do we have any of those in stock? We do not. Okay, so hopefully she'll get down to those next. And then once she's done with all that, she can get back to making electronics. Anyway, Carter, you are out over here. You are in decent enough shape to make the run. What is the rest of our ore situation without heading way up on the mountain out over there? So what is this? That is just con or a stone for concrete. Over here, stone. All right, you are silicon, you're silicon. We couldn't get to the ore deposit. I wonder if we can if we get rid of the silicon. I don't know. So Carter, let's find out. I need you to take care of that one, that one, and then hopefully, no, still obstructed. I may have to wait until these are done. Hopefully I'll find you in time to test that. Then I'll send you out to that one or that one. And that'll be your day. Alright, so that will clean up the last of the ore in our immediate area. Unless there's anything more around here. Not you. You are ore. Okay. Grab all of you and mine. In fact, and over here. That's even better. Carter, come straight to here instead. Let me see where that is. And this is a little further away, but I still think this is better. So, Carter, mine these instead. And then, let's mine these when you're done. Okay. So that gives both of you some significant ore mining to do. We have... Oh, hello. If I just find these things and highlight them, then I can plan for them later. All these meteors that have come down. That's getting a bit far away, but I'll mark it anyway. We could be making alloys out of scrap metals. I don't know that it is any faster to do this than mine. I'm not sure. Any more meteor strikes nearby. Right there. Still getting kind of far away. Though Edmund's over here, so I guess that's comparable. What are you? There's another one. So I guess this far into the game, what are we middle or at least year three so we've got two full years plus a little we've had enough meteor strikes to give us some raw materials in the area what, what did you used to be oh these need to be picked up All right there that is silicon okay so silicon i wonder if that comes down randomly with the uh with the other okay well enough of that move on Paulette, you are cooking. How is our food situation? We've got seven quick meals, five tasty meals, and two chef meals. 
you've done a good job. Why is that? Umayar is not cooking like I... You know, he would be a good help in, but we're no longer researching. Uh, but he's doing all the handling jobs. Okay. Simon is off to go get... No, he's off to deliver. Okay, so this needs to get built before our next attack. Great. Uh, Kana could be doing these. No, she's busy. Well, I'll tell you what, Kana, what's your... You're in good shape. When you're done, we do have 10 ore in here somewhere. In fact, they may have even been delivered. Oh, someone's already made the repair. Battery's charging. Cool. And the light is on. Okay, maybe Carter did that before I caught on that he wasn't sleeping anymore. We'll blame him. <laughs> How's our, our never-to-be-used wedding chapel? That's looking really good. I have to say. Yeah... Is anybody like anybody yet? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, Carter likes his own son. And Paulette a little bit. Paulette, nobody. Rita does like Simon. Simon, nobody. Edmund likes Umiar and Simon. Kana, nobody. Umiar likes Paulette. This isn't looking good. I don't think we've got a match anywhere in this group. Okay. Well, it was a plan. Anyway, Eben is mining his... I thought he was pretty full when he went out there. Carter? Yeah, you're also kind of hurting. Darn. Well, I'll get you guys down here-ish, and then I'll send you back home. And eventually I'll send Simon out there to go and get all the, all the goods. That's too bad. Now, with... Umiar here to do the local stuff, I could designate Simon to really start concentrating on the long distance. I think I'd like that better. So Simon, instead of... Hmm. That's transporting. You're number one. So local transporting, meaning putting building supplies out, is just as important, or is part of a transportation job, as going off there to go get that ore that's laying on the ground. Hmm, because this is closer. Okay. Alrighty, so Umiar, you are a number two for that one. But your first number two is handle. So you must have got all the handling done, because you're transporting right now as well. You're bringing brick over here. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, because these were all going, or are all going. And... I think we're probably getting close to our... Now only 124 in stock, so someone's going to be filling up the uh, thunder. I thought I was hearing the flame of the furnace, but that's that thunder. Anyway, uh, someone's going to be doing brickwork soon. Rita is harvesting. Great. We have our harvest set before her planting, which is good. Last time we did the opposite, get everything planted you can, but we're pretty overwhelmed right now in supplies, so... Yeah, she gets the majority of it planted. We're, we're in pretty good shape. What are you? You are a grain grass. We have... How much grain gra grain do we still have? 1,200? 1,200 grain. We don't need to get that planted. So we'll just keep you on harvesting, which is smoke leaf. How'd you do that right at the end of winter? That thing has grown already? Wow. So with that thunder, I'm expecting... What is the roaring noise? Wind. It's wind. So I'm expecting a thunderstorm to roll through. There it is in just rain. And a solar flare. Eleven devices are affected. Let's roll through them. Oh, our, our cooling, isn't it? Room right now is 44 degrees. Boy, that, that moved quickly. Yeah. Anyway... So, cooling, cooling, research, we don't really even need anymore, right? Oh, it's off, okay. Oh, our defenses are dependent upon it. That's right, that guy. Everything that has a CPU is down for the count right now. Yeah, solar flares are not good. Now, we did have the technology for... Hardened. Hmm. 
What did that mean? Let me look that up again. Um, completed? Oh, the solar flare. That's what the noise that's going on. Carter reached eight. Okay, completed. It, what was that called? Um, what would it be under power? That sounds reasonable. Energy storage, electric smelting. What is it I'm trying to think of? Other. Flare shielding. There we go. So we have this. Solar flares increase the power consumption of devices that have built-in CPUs by 50% instead of disabling them. So are you still running then? Apparently you are. You're consuming 24 instead of 16. Why are we 44 degrees in here? These two really cannot handle it. I guess that's what it's saying. Uh, roof? Roof? Do I not have a roof? Why am I not getting here? Why is it not showing my roof? That's, that's spooking me a bit. Is there a reason for that? Oh! Apparently I was clicked on somebody who was inside of there. Okay. Alright. Well, we have a roof. We've got our best quality material insulating it. And we have two of these guys running. Right? We have one of these guys running, waiting to be turned on. Apparently we turned one off for the winter or something. Okay. Roof off. Who's nearby? Paulette, drop what you're doing. Well... We're not in that bad a shape. 44 is just a tiny bit warmer than refrigeration. So, turn you on to do that unless I can find somebody else. Uh, Connor is in between jobs. Connor, you come and do this. We'll flip that on. Let's get our refrigerator temperature a lot colder than that. I had set it for like, I don't know, 15, 17. Let's see what it drops down to. 45 degrees now clicked on. Of course, we're going to suck power down like crazy, but we got a good uh, supply of batteries here. So with this shielding, we're still plus 81. How is that possible? Plus 85. How is that possible? We only have these four and these two. We're supplying 29 of 40, same, and supplying 30. Supplying 30. I thought these guys supplied 40. Increased supply because of the solar flare. So we're getting bombarded by solar energy, causing a magnetic interference which would normally kill power to these to CPUs. But we're shielded, so we're able to maintain. But that extra burst is also giving us more power here. Interesting. I know really intense solar activity will affect whole power grids and put a surge into all of those wires through a major power grid. And, and uh, oh, I forgot about our miners out there. Uh oh, yeah, you're you're going to be starving. You are. I'll leave you there and just have you run home. Yeah, you do that, Carter. Where you at? You're over there. Same thing. Run home. Aha! And each of them pick the one that they enjoyed the most. Carter likes bread, and Edmund likes cheesecake or whatever that is. I remember the name of that. I'll find it. There it is. Uh, fruitcake. There you are. So they automatically chose the one they liked the most. I hadn't seen that before. They usually just pick the one that's closest to them. You know, a can of syrup or something. So that's interesting. Hey, boxer. KK's grandma suggested that Boxer here looks like a prince. 
And since nobody has suggested a name for him yet, I think we're going to go with that. Am I paused? Oh, he's still. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> so, Prince, yeah, let's do that. So you are now Prince, and I would really like to see if you actually go inside there. I didn't remember to look last time. So let's try to remember to, to see where it is that he sleeps now. And I think I decided that I can't turn this guy... Oh, I can turn it around now. Okay. We'll add that little bit so we can enter from both directions. But that's as far as it would build us, so I wouldn't let this part be right here. Just, just wouldn't do it. Anyway, he's Prince. How's he doing? And... I think it was Robert who wrote in, I'm trying to remember, it's been you know, a week since I've recorded this, wrote in and asked if Prince had training turned on. I just assumed, where am I looking at here? Oh, that would be here. There. Am I running? Yeah. Tamed animals, train. This was off. I assumed by default that you'd want to train them so it would be on. So I never thought to even check this. So pet, heal, and train for... Prince, can I... Ooh, they let you rename him now, right? I don't think that was there for dog. Prince. Okay. That's a lot easier to remember now, too. <laughs> okay, got that one taken care of. Simon f managed to find himself a whole bunch of alloy. Are we alloying these? We are. Great. Umar's been doing that all by himself and getting the bricks going and Perfect. So he's got that handled. Do we need to send anybody else on any more expeditions? We do have the possibility of sending somebody to the... Boy, what was that thing called? The alien ship. No, that pops up individually. Yeah. That isn't something that's stationary. A tachyon event. Whoever we send will get a boost in some kind of a trait. Otherwise, space debris, as far as I know, are, are no different from you know, scavenging our own space debris around our base. So no point in going away to do that. Um, cruise ship debris brings in clothing. Supercomputer debris brings in CPUs. And the military brings in ship, um, uh, weapons. So, unless we do another explore, which is eight hours away, so that is possible. Hmm. I think I would rather have that ore than send Edmund on one of those. And Rita is definitely busy doing all of her planting and harvesting. And Carter as well, mining. We could... Now, there's nobody else has got any good physical. Physical, well, probably easier to do it this way. Activities? Yeah. Physical would be mining. So it comes down to Carter and Edmund with Rita as a backup. So it's just the three as far as hauling anything back. You know, meaningful quantities on an expedition. So we're down to f needing 59 and one one of the, s of the power cells. You guys are now... Average health 100%, growth is 42%. Okay. Is there a purpose to fertilize? I guess we could give that a try. It's there and there, which means we need to set up a bunch of fertilizer. You need to approve picking it. So, really, where's there a bunch of cattle? Over here, nothing. Don't want them walking too far to get it. Seems like we have Olfen kind of in this area, right? Manure. Out over here. So let's grab from there to there. 100 manure. And use. Any other manure right through here that's not been triggered? You guys will probably leave a bunch. Manure. Use. Okay. And then we know we've got a bunch of it up here. Let's see, anything in this field? There is. Where, do, where are you? You're up here. Okay. This is where we're going to have the majority of it. Yeah. Use you guys a little further back. Over here. 
here. Okay, that's everything triggered that's within a reasonable distance. If Rita does it, great. If she doesn't, then it's fine. So we are... Where is the time? Five in the morning. Year three, day nine. One day left of spring. So pretty much the end of planting. I don't think we can plant in the summer. I'm trying to remember if we can. I know in Mountain Core we cannot. <laughs> yeah, I got the rules of three recent games in my brain. All kind of jumbled together. Okay, we are playing. We are waking up. Transporting. Why? That's logs. What have we built lately with logs? Oh, I didn't check on him. There he is. There's Prince. Yep, sound asleep in his doghouse. Oh, you're going to load up this construction job. Okay. Now, I would expect... Well, Edmund's up. But I would expect Carter to sleep for quite some time. He's up? Did he sleep? He needs to relax really bad. Edmund, you're actually in pretty good shape. Let's... Yeah, your happiness is heading up there. Tell you what. Let's have you... Grab another... Well, just anything, really. Grab some grain porridge when you're done with that construction. And then let's get you out to finish that job. This will be a mining episode for you. I was here, right? Or I can have you do this one. I think about that. Yeah. Oh, that's silicone, though. Oh, that's ore. Okay. I think these would be f closer. So after that, you're going to mine this one, and you're going to mine this one. Okay. So that is Edmund today. And Simon, I need to manually get you out there. You're transporting a whole bunch of alloy already. You're heading out to this guy. Okay. Get that guy built. We are going to need a new desk in here to transmit a signal or to receive a signal. Who best? Umiar, your bedroom is here, right? Yeah. You're there. Kana's got a desk here. Edmund's got a desk there. Rita... I don't know that that is a Rita job. I'm not. I don't know if there's a qualification. If there is a a skill level that would give you better results, if you could pick the right person, like in RimWorld, get the right person to do the uh, the trading, and you'll get better prices. Let's think about doing this guy orbital radio desk in Umair's room, right in there. And like so. Okay. 12 affected devices. Yeah, that one's going to be messed up by a solar flare too. Okay, so Carter, where are you at? You are still trying to get back up to happy. And you're almost there. You are... Where right now? You are petting Prince. Oh, that won't do it. There's, there's no way that can't do the job. So let's give you bread. There you are. That will get your happiness back up and your food. And then let's send you out to... That's stone. Out in this direction again. So we've got... One over there. One way over there. And this over here. What's that? That's nothing. Okay, you can do these. And that should end your day. And maybe have you haul them back? Here, Simon, I finally found something for you to do. When you're done relaxing and eating food, let's... Let's see, you like meat pie. So let's get you a meat soup? Well, we have no meat pie, unless it's in here. Meat soup. Hmm. Is it in the fridge anywhere? Meat pie, nope. That's right, I have to hold it. Okay. Then, I guess you get meat soup. And then, I want you to head over to here. Yep. Yeah. So grab all of the ore. 
and if there is capacity left, is there any other ore on the way in? I don't think so, unless something was left here. Nope. Okay, that's your job. Kana, you are eating. There you are. And you're working on what at the moment? You are working on helmets. Great. That's either helmets or boots are the very last ones. Edmund is constructing chair uh, stairs. Then he's going to take off. What? None. He ate and it canceled all of his orders. <laughs> all right, get over here. Come on, before the day's all gone again. Uh, wasn't there two in a row that were nearer? Ah, oh, they're over here. Okay, we'll just send you here next. All right. There's that. There's a thump, so you just finish that job. Right there. So you got one extra little step to help get up into there. So what's happening out over here? We're getting some of it done. Um, there's still at least another day or two before a normal attack will hit us. We could get a wave of of um, aggressive animals, kind of like the solar flare, just a random event. And I think getting them to travel a gauntlet is almost impossible. They'll just attack whatever's in front of their faces. Otherwise, you are still making uh, energy like crazy. So it's still coming in faster than we can use it. Okay, so it's not really much of a penalty, that uh, flare shielding. It's just a, a win all the way around. Definitely worth the research there. Edmund is mining. You're off in that direction. Rita is harvesting. Simon's made it over there. Carter's on his way. And Kana is getting ready to make electronics. So she is done making another round of, uh, of suits and stuff. So if I think of it tonight... We'll have everybody change and put more armor on. Though the at the rate we're going, as far as our defenses, I don't know that we're going to have to you know, really be armored up that much. There's thunder. This could be a lightning storm. Insufficient storage space. This could be a lightning storm. Hmm. I wonder if I need to get our miners walking in already. So, uh, storage space for for you guys. Okay. Um, I think I will ignore that for the moment. Just let us sit out there for a little bit. Um, we could throw up a few more of these with shelves in them for overflow. We could do that. What kind of storm's coming in? Don't need the research. And is this this still happening? So that was our warning. Though I'm, I'm surprised we're going to get that and a solar flare at the same time. Though there was that one time we got two events that hit us all at once. Okay, Carter, I'm calling you in. And Edmund, I'm calling you in. I've seen what happens to them when they get hit by lightning. It's not pretty. Uh, thunderstorm, yep. Okay, Carter, are you actually running in? You are, Edmund. You are, okay, and Simon's out too. And you are not going as fast. What kind of time do we have available before we start getting struck? It's iffy. But Simon probably won't be any longer than it would take Edmund to get in at a run. So I'm going to say we're okay. Boy, that rain's coming down. Wow. Rita's harvesting. Let's see, you and Copy. So Rita is still protected out here. Except for right there, and it's going to be rare that she's over there. Oh, we need to do something in this area. Yeah. Right about there. So let's get that set up. You're going to go there. So I need to eliminate one space. Or I put in two. Let's do that. 
I'm going to pause it. I want to be looking out there while they are running in through the storm. Let's copy you. Put you right up here. Uneven terrain. People. There we go. And let's get you down in here. Um, got this guy to do as well. That's not permanent. I just want to see if we can increase the, the soil value. Let's just go right there. Okay, then poles, uh, power, electric. Can I reach you? What happened there? Power, pole, wood. Okay. Cannot reach you. Darn. Uneven ground. Let's go over the top. There, I can get you there. Where am I aiming to? There really isn't anything out in this area. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll think about that later. Need to plan that. Take a little more time to really think it through. Edmund's on his way in. Simon's on his way in. Carter's pretty much in the clear. And hopefully these guys make it. These uh, lightning blasts get pretty wicked. Keep them in our sight. We have all of these uh, these uh, lightning rods out here, so we should see a bolt hit here real soon. Brought it away. Poo. Constructing a floor. So far, we're okay. Edmund's almost in the clear. Yeah, a little bit further, Edmund's fine. So Simon's the last straggler out here. And we're flashing out over there, so I wonder if that means the storm's more in that end of the map. Simon has made it pretty much in. Where do we have lightning rods out here? I don't remember. Grab you. Copy. So we're over here for lightning rods. Okay, is that a problem? Probably not. Probably not. If the bugs get zapped, they get zapped. I think we're fine there. Alright, so Simon made it in. He brought in his ore. Good. Carter and Edmund are going to be fine. They're busy working in this protection. Rita is fine. There's nobody else out there. Umiar is out there. Umiar, what are you doing? Handling a furnace. Okay, let's reassign you to do something else. Why don't you cook a meal for me? Why don't you boil some coffee? Thank you. Back in here. I need to see you sneak out there. <clears throat> so far, no lightning in our area. But boy, that wind. And then cook stove, and he's in the clear already. Okay. And we are built. That's a shadow. Oh, I've never really looked at our roofs over here. So can we get a roof through this area? I think we probably could. Let's make that happen. Housing. Uh, roof. Wood. Yeah, that's it right there. And was it R? There's R. Right there to there. That's as far as we can go because of the staircase. Alright, I like it. So that's going on there. This area is protected, right? Yeah, right there. So we could tear this guy down. I think it's about time to do that. Storm's over? No, it got quiet though. That's always how it deceives us. And then boom! Right over there. Yeah. The storm calms like that. You know you're in trouble. <laughs> so Umiar did make it back in. Rita's harvesting, and we are fine over there. So yep, that's completely protected.
constructing a lightning rod. Okay, so this one I want to go away. Cancel. I don't know where I want to run the power poles. Boom! Get right over there. So our battery should be maxed out. Yep, yeah, we're maxed out. We have no more capacity. And at this point, I don't know if we even need more batteries unless these guys really suck the power. Boy, that turns off fast. One more lightning strike. Where is it? It was within 10 seconds of the storm turning off. Get one more rumble. Except for those times when I say it's going to happen. <laughs> Okay, so constructing a roof, no point in heading back out there again to try to get more ore. Carter is constructing the lightning rod, and everybody else just doing their evening stuff and getting ready to call it a night. Let's think about powering this up. So, yeah, we get rid of you. Insufficient storage space. So if I run across, I have to grab this power pole. I can't just grab these guys or this got to be part of the wire so that's my point right there that's what I needed to find so copy you take you out what was that last thing not sure but do we still have a solar flare going that's a long time you're going there can we grab both oh it's so close now yep. so we'll grab you there and you out something like that. Okay. You need to come across uneven ground. Oh, I see all the red. Well, I'm not going to get very far. Hmm. Let's send you down like so. All oh, pretty rough terrain here. Yeah, that might not be a thing. How would I get across here? I guess we can track across the bottom here. Um, who knows? At the very least, we give the bugs something to attack. Give them a target. <laughs> and there. Okay, that circuit's going. You can go away. All right, so that gets this area protected. Pretty expensive uh, protection there. So you are constructing a power pole. Carter's constructing a turret. All right. Now, these were not affected by that solar flare. So they're just fuel, and they're, they're fueled up. Okay. Otherwise, this is done. We can get that laid in now that we've seen the pad and how it connects to our wooden deck, which I think looks pretty good. Science landing spot, you're going right there. I don't like how it's red. I think everything's fine, though. Yep, it is. And this guy is built pretty much. So it's just a matter now of waiting for the rest of the metal alloys to be done. Which I'm sure Simon and or Umiar are uh, keeping going. Is anybody constructing the brick fences yet? Um... Yeah, we did lay these out to happen next. And we have not had the bricks delivered. Bricks are available. So it's just under getting somebody to do it. You're getting something to eat. Simon, where are you right now? You're playing darts. All the way down there. So that can go away now, right? I think it can. Does it get relocated? Do we want them to... Uh, have a dartboard outside anywhere? I like it when they are all near each other for it, something like that, so they can at least have conversations while they're doing whatever. Does the dartboard land on any other wall in here? It does. Not from this side. Okay. No. No. We've pretty much used every space that isn't a bedroom. You're 
yeah, we'd have to throw darts right over the cook, though. I don't think she'd appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I think we are... That was the only spot. We can send them outside to do it. There's a spot there and there, but I don't see any point in that. Okay, so you just go away. Where am I? Over here. Um, deconstruct. And I think this whole structure can deconstruct now. I think we're done out here. So let's take that back right there. So room, one room, this guy. So pole fence, deconstruct you, you, those, and I can't deconstruct the roof. No, it won't let me. Maybe it's already down? No. Hmm. Anyway, you can deconstruct. Uh, what am I looking for? That one. That one. And probably no need for these anymore. Keep empty and deconstruct. And this building can go down. So deconstruct you. And we're into day three, aren't we? So I think that means this episode's about done. Yeah, good place to start for next time. We go two days at a time, and I am 40-some minutes into it, so that sounds right. So I think we'll call our finished here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.